Hey guys, so I know I've been promising you some announcements for a while and I'm so excited because I finally get to tell you about one that I've been waiting to tell you forever. What's up? No. No go. Before Dove Cameron had over 1.4 million followers on Twitter, 1.1 million on Facebook, and more than 17 million followers on Instagram. Okay! 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 okay. Alright! Before Dove Cameron won a daytime Emmy for an outstanding performer for her role in the show Live and Maddie. And the Emmy goes to Dove Cameron. <laughs> Before Dove was part of the TV shows Shameless, The Mentalist, The Lodge, and Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I had problems from your sorry little No! Before Dove was linked to dating Ryan McCartan and Thomas Doherty. Hi, Thomas! Hi. Oh my god, this is the most dangerous. I don't even Dove Cameron is an American actress and singer. No, no, Dove Cameron is one of the most popular American actresses and singers at the moment. Finding success after playing the Rooney Twins on the Disney Channel show Live and Maddie. But she solidified her star status after taking on the role of Maul in The Descendants 1, 2, and 3. Despite her current life of glitz and glam, the road to success was definitely not an easy one. Dove was the victim of bullying when she was a child and would change her name after a family tragedy. She has fought against depression, anorexia, and anxiety, and the pressures of fame were so overwhelming that she strongly considered giving it all up. Eventually, it was her love for music and performance and the support of her loved ones that would allow her to persevere. But we'll get into more of that in this video. What's going on guys, my name is Thelma Nicole, filling in for Michael McCartan, documenting the life and career of Dove Cameron prior to fame, here for you and before they were famous. You guys requested this video, so keep the suggestions coming in. I'm no Instagram superstar like Dove, but I've been posting some original content and some funny skits. You can check those out by giving me a follow, a link is down below, now let's get started. You said below? I know! What's wrong with you? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! I think you're becoming pretty good friends. Mom? Mom? Me and Mabel are becoming good pretty friends. Dove Cameron's real name is Chloe Celeste Hosserman, and she was born on January 15, 1996 in Seattle, Washington, but grew up in Bainbridge Island which is connected to Seattle via ferry. Her parents who were separated shortly after Chloe's birth are Philip Allen Hosserman, a pianist and a cook, and Bonnie Wallace, a poet and a novelist. Dove also has an older sister named Claire who is a singer and a voice teacher. Talented family. Now, Chloe was also interested in singing and in fact she and her sister would sing throughout their childhood while their dad played the piano. I hope you know, I hope you know that this has nothing to do with you. On top of the careers in the arts, Chloe's parents were designers and owners of a jewelry store in India, so the family spent time there during the summer. When Dove was seven years old, she realized she wanted to be an actress, and as she was eight years old, she started acting at the local Bainbridge Performing Arts Theatre and plays like The Secret Garden and The Wizard of Oz. Dove was so determined to make it as an actress, she begged her mother to move her and her sister to Los Angeles. Mom obliged, and her high school was enrolled at a Burnbark High. There, she was part of the choir, which led her to participating in the national championship. Since day. Whoa, I am a lost boy from Neverland. Dove, like a lot of the girls who would go on to become Hollywood starlets, was bullied in high school and didn't really fit in with any group. She was a very lonely girl and had very few friends. The bullies were so cruel they would even go as far as locking her into Janner's closet and spit on her. Some threw drinks on her and one time on a school group of girls threw razors at her while screaming that she would commit suicide. Oh my god, that's awful. Things got so bad that Deb would be pulled from going to school and instead focus on her dreams of becoming an actress and singer which helped her cope but to this day the actress still suffers from episodes of anxiety. To cope, Dove is a firm believer in exercise, a good night's sleep and meditation. Reflecting now on how she was treated she believed that she was a person tries to make another person feel bad, it's only because they don't feel good about themselves. Like when somebody is reaching out to you to try and bring you down, it's always a reflection of how much pain they're in. In 2011, when she was only 15 years old, her father passed away and after this, Chloe decided to legally change her name to Dove. Later on, she would say on Twitter, My father always called me Dove. He died when I was 15 years old. I didn't get to say goodbye, so I changed my name in honor of him. Although Dove kept quiet about the causes of her father's death in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, she opened up about a little more and shared that her father had committed suicide, stating, He took his own life and he also was close 
closeted, which we only found out after he died. When I found out that he was closeted, I was like, everything adds up. Duff has also stated that she would like to write a movie about her father someday because she considers that he was a fascinating human being. If she does get this made, many fans will be thrilled since they will likely learn more about her childhood. Ham it up, Chloe. I think she's going to be an actress. She already is. Dove will land acting roles in shows like The Mentalist, Shameless and Malibu Country. But her big break would come in 2013 when after a long audition process, she was chosen for the star in the new Disney Channel show titled Bits and Pieces. After filming the pilot, the show would change its name to Live and Maddie and Dove, well, she landed the lead role of both the Rooney twins. I really hope she got double the pay. Come on in. Hey. So you know how I play both Liv and Maddie, right? Ever wonder how we do it? The show became an instant success with a four season run. In this show, Dove also got the opportunity to show off her singing skills, performing the song On Top of the World by Imagine Dragons. But the pressure that Dove had while playing the two characters at the same time and having to record everything twice plus the added stress of processing her dad's death while being in front of the camera was just too much for her to handle. This caused her anxiety and panic attacks that she even thought about quitting Hollywood altogether. No kidding. Eventually she managed to talk herself out of this realizing how many children enjoy her show and it allowed her to be a good role model for younger children. In 2014 she participated in the Disney film Cloud 9. That same year she would appear in Barely Lethal next to Haley Steinfeld and Sophie Turner. Both girls we've documented here on Before They Were Famous. Hi, I'm Megan. <laughs> no, don't touch me till I've seen your papers. In July 2015, The Descendants premiered on the Disney Channel where Dove plays the character Mal. This movie was a huge success and became Disney Channel's most viewed movie of the year and the fifth most viewed in the history of cable television in the US with more than 6 million viewers. Dove became a celebrity as her co-stars Cameron Boyce, Boo Boo Stewart and Sophia Carson. The soundtrack was also a success and the song sung by the Dove remained on the Billboard charts for months. not perfect for Dove, around this time she would suffer from anorexia and in fact she stated in an interview with Stylecaster, I've never said this before but I had such a bad case of anorexia. I was so badly down that hole I was not eating for days sometimes. But it was because I thought I needed to be absolutely tiny to be loved. I generally thought I needed to be as skinny as I possibly could to be loved and appreciated and good enough. A breaking point came when Cameron saw her peers giving diet advice in interviews and on social media continuing with unrealistic body standards and lifestyles. Reflecting on this she stated, the message I was sending to the girls was that if they just watch what they eat and run, they will look like me, and that's how they should look. That this was the image of the health. When I realized my mistakes, I felt so upset. That's a blatant lie. That's not okay. That's not a role model. I realized that if I was going to be a role model, then I need to live like the girls that I admired as a child. In December 2016, she played Amber Von Tussel in the live performance of NBC Hairspray Live, and Dove once again blew away both her friends and the critics with her performance. Wednesday. It's always been my dream to dance on this show. Well, maybe you want to go back to sleep. <laughs> in 2015, Cameron and Ryan McCartan, who was her co star at Live and Maddie and her boyfriend since 2013, formed the band The Girl and the Dreamcatcher. On October 1st, 2015, they released the video of their first song, Written in the Stars. This is the moment where it all In 2016, they would release their album Negatives, which includes songs like Glowing in the Dark, Someone You Like, and Make You Stay. Ryan and Deb would announce their engagement in April 2016, but suddenly, only six months after announcing their wedding plans, the two split. They were never clear about the reasons as to why the relationship ended. It is rumored that Dub called it quits because Ryan was an abusive boyfriend, but that's just the word on the street. Or in this case, the internet. I love her to death. There's a lot of love there. Uh, you know, she made a decision that because I love her, I have to respect. In July 2017, the sequel of Descendants was released and the success of the first film would be repeated. Everybody wants me to be this lady of the court and I have no idea how to keep up the act. More recently, Dove was signed a contract to participate in the fifth season of the ABC show Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the role of Ruby, so look forward to that. Where is she? That's a bad idea, Ruby. You can't beat her. Yes, I can. Well, she's currently filming The Descendants 3 and will be the voice of Spider Woman in the upcoming animated film Marvel Rising Secret Warriors. As for the rest of the story, well, we'll just have to wait and see because this is before they were famous. My name is Sonico. You can find me on Instagram, a link is down below. Let us know who you want us to document next. 
Bye, guys. Okay. 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 okay.